Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound Fe2O3. So now we have two elements, right? We have iron, which is Fe, and we have oxygen, which is O, right? Let's just plot out where they are in the periodic table. Now, iron is over here in the periodic table. All of this block are metals, so iron is a metal, and then oxygen is a nonmetal because it's over here on the periodic table. That's where our nonmetals live, right? Now we're ready to just name them. The metal name, which is iron, the metal always stays exactly the same. So if this was iron before, it's going to be iron in the name. So Fe is iron. The nonmetal, in this case oxygen, gets the IDE ending. So it was oxygen, but now I turned it into oxide. The Y-G-E-N turns into I-D-E. So we're at iron oxide. But now I just need to make sure that, you know, do I need a Roman numeral or do I not? The Roman numerals are only needed for transitional metals. And iron, since it's here, it's in the transitional block, I do need a Roman numeral. Okay. And remember, the Roman numeral is always the charge of the metal. But that's pretty easy to find out. All we're going to do is we're just going to crisscross the subscripts to find out the charges. There was two irons and three oxygens. This two crisscrossed up, telling me that the oxygen was a negative two. And this three crisscrossed up, telling me that the iron was a plus three. So we have Fe plus three and O two minus. Just check this out to make sure that it's correct. And oxygen is in the negative two oxidation state trend. So this checks out. And if that checks out, this has to check out. So the charge of iron was a three. So in my Roman numeral, I'm just gonna put a three. And that is the end. So Fe2O3 is iron three oxide. And there you go. Hopefully this helped guys. Let me know in the comments. Give the video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I hope you guys have an awesome day and see you later. Bye-bye.